day 147 for the vlog and the day rating today was a 7 yeah let's see where we start got to bed round 2 got up around 7 7.30 and it's kind of up for a while and just kind of just kind of lay here uncomfortable <laughs> I'm not sure how today's gonna go, so I'm just gonna enjoy relaxing. And then got up around 7.20, get the dog out the door around 7.25, and dad called at 7.30 and said, hey, you gonna come up today? And I said, I don't know, how's the weather looking? He said, we've had some rain all week, so it's a little bit wet, but there's no thunderstorms coming in right now, so. Yeah, I head on up, try to get here around 9.30. I gotta walk the dog, I gotta pack up the stuff. So I'll be lucky to get there. I'll be lucky to get there at 9.30. It's 7.30 right now. I need at least half hour, 20 minutes, at least another 20 minutes to go walk the dog. Oh, and then I gotta get something to eat. Pack up the things, get Komomo's crate going. I'm have to get gas. And head on out. I got there, I think right at 10. And signed in for the game. We played. I guess we were playing one of the better teams in the league. And I think at half we were down 0 to 1. Oh, yeah, we're down by 1. And they scored three, two more goals. And then we scored one right away. It was 3-1. We had a couple other opportunities, and I took a shot on goal in the very beginning. It was a good shot, just the keeper saved it. And I think the game was like 5-1 in the end. But I guess I learned today that the last three weeks we lost every game because we had to forfeit. <laughs> so kind of deflated my spirits a bit. I guess I, I get pretty competitive with sports. I just like doing the best and the team doing their best. And as long as you're trying their best, I don't mind what the score is. But it kind of sucks losing before you even give yourself a chance to win. The team a chance, so. Trying to figure that out. Trying to get the right team on the roster. Get everyone to show up. We'll see how next week goes. I know it's my dad's birthday in about four or five days. <clears throat> so I told him, I was like, let me know what you want to do next week. So I'll try to go up a little bit early so we can take him out to dinner or go find live music or something for him. I had a gift idea that he had mentioned. I can't remember if it was fitness related or car related. I should have wrote it down somewhere. So I'll think about it the rest of the week. Oh, let me see if I can remember. But definitely like to take him out to at least to dinner. Spend more time with him. So we'll see how that goes later this week. Then oh. It's like ear pods. He says he's got <clears throat> little Bluetooth ones, but he's got the one with the volume nozzle that kind of dangles. So I'm gonna look for some for him that just maybe sit in their ear or a little bit lighter so he doesn't have to have that volume piece swing so hard and pull out of his ear. So that's what I will be looking for this week for his birthday. Then we went to Chili's again, walked the pup a bunch. She's excited just to see him. She keeps going up to him and tries to jump on his lap when he's laying down or sitting. So I'm glad she likes him. I'm glad that my dad likes her too. And then went to Chili's, watched a bunch of Olympics. Oh, took a nap, walked the pup again, drove back. Finished the push-ups, did 110 today. 
Didn't get a chance to cut the hair. Cut my hair. It's getting a little too long. Maybe tomorrow. Oh, I can just reading. I think I'm on page 130. 140. 131. Finish 130. And then one of my friends was texting me on, or messaged me on Facebook and said, hey, if you're into read, getting into, back into reading, look up this person. They're, they write really great books. And I looked them up. And I was like, oh, The Way of the Peaceful Warrior. Yeah, I've read this like, years ago. It's really great. It's fantastic. and a Good read. And I said, yeah, I've read a bunch of other books. They're really good. I read this other one that was really amazing. I'll send you the link. Cool. Send it to me. <laughs> So I got another book to add on the list after I get these ones and the Sandcastles one is related to old, that movie old. I'm kind of really curious about that one now to see what more happens on the island if there's more people and to see where the creativity goes from that to the movie. Maybe go see the movie again if I can get the book and read it fast enough. Actually, I don't know. I'm going to read these other books first, and maybe by then this is more of a, a free book without that knowledge experience, more of just entertainment. Maybe by then the movie will be out on to stream somewhere or to buy online. So I'll just do that. And what else? Papa's over here sleeping. He knows he's here snoring. She had a good day. She got a little nervous on the drive up. On the drive up north, but she did all right. Just go sit in the back, calm down. We got her outside. She went potty. She was doing good. She did good. Had a couple treats. Had some food. Lay down next to me. We'll watch the Olympics. It's good. I'm glad to report. I guess you know the day was on. A Back swing of the five, I'll say. Yesterday and today feels like it's up to seven. Definitely feel more myself, more composed. And that's about it. That was the day. I'm trying to do the. I'm trying to think of what it is. Is it a planche? It's like a plank. But you're on your hands and you're just kind of supporting yourself. It's one of those things that like a lot of the gymnasts do. A floor routine where they just hold themselves up. Just their hands. And their body's parallel with the floor. So that's kind of one of my new goals to get done with weights and push-ups. Is to be able to support myself that way. So one thing I'm trying to do is an L-sit. Where your body's straight up and down and your legs are coming out this way. And you just hold yourself up. But you have to find something to just lift you up off the ground a little bit. And trying to do those every, maybe every, the, every other night, just a few seconds here and there, and then the other way. Just told to start here and then kind of put your toes, if that's the wall, and so put your hands here. And then go like one foot, and then like two feet, and then try to go up and up. Or try to do like one foot against the wall or two feet, one foot, and slowly start taking that foot away. So you can, your body can slowly start feeling that balance and building the core to support yourself in that position. So I think that's kind of my next little fun goal to do um, at my place. Besides that, get back on the schedule tomorrow. Just did the soccer today. Wasn't able to get back in time to run, cut the hair. But I did some physical activity, walked the dog a bunch, and played some soccer, and did some sprints, and a little bit of cardio in. It's not as pure cardio as I would like, but it was something. And then tomorrow, I tried to get back in the routine of 
try to do at least five miles. I try to throw in a little bit of speed again. Legs are feeling good. The weather's a little bit cooler. It's been raining all week. So that might help. And then... Tuesday's the morning workout. Wednesday, trying to get to that... That, uh... Track workout. Thursday's back to gym workout. I gotta throw in another gym day in between, so... Or, end the week. So, that's the plan. Alright. Run your life with health and happiness. Have a good night.